Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I can't begin to tell you how good it feels to be filming on a fairly regular basis and posting videos on a fairly regular basis again. I can't guarantee how long that's going to last. Um, I've had four days off from work so it's been really nice and relaxing and I've had time to get a lot of stuff done and a lot of stuff organized and my thoughts together about videos that I want to film and I don't feel as rushed filming videos but um, I am going back to work this week and I don't know what's in store for me um, coming up so um I'm enjoying it while I can and today I wanted to film for you my 5 by Cinco de Mayo. This is my second update and I have finished three products since the last update. So I wanted to go ahead and just show you. Um, I used up my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation. I really enjoyed this. I do have several backups of this in shades that I don't think are my color right now. But I really did enjoy this foundation and would like to use this again in the future whenever I do have a need for a foundation. And the next product that I finished is my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, which is kind of sad because of how expensive it is. And I really did enjoy this foundation, but I am glad to be moving stuff out of my collection. And that even means some of the more expensive items because I don't want them to go bad just sitting in my collection. That would be an even greater waste than actually using the product, of course. So I finished this. And the next product that I finished is my Pantene Pro-V Overnight Miracle Repair Serum. And this is completely gone. What I did do is flip this over into the cap so that I could completely get everything out of this bottle when it was finished. So now for the products that I have not yet finished in this project and the first product that I have not yet finished is my Bath and Body Works Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Lotion. As you can see I haven't made very much progress since the last time but I have made consistent progress so I guess if I can make a little bit more progress each month for the next two months I can go ahead and finish this up. Admittedly I am not great with using lotions so obviously that is the reason why um, I have not been using this too much. Now this mark over here is for my March goals because I do want to finish this up in March. It's quite a hefty goal for me, but I wanted to just force myself to use it and work on it. And obviously, um, I haven't worked on it very much more. So we'll see how far I can get with this in March and maybe this will be finished in my next update. My next product is my Clean Skin Perfume. I love this perfume so much. I have been kind of incorporating some other perfumes in. I do have some perfume samples in my 7 by Summer Solstice, so I've been trying to use those a little bit. And I've been using another perfume that I do have in my 17 um, by 2017 goals. And so I've made a little bit more progress on this. Not quite as much from... Um, last update to now as from the uh, beginning to the first update but I feel like I've made consistent progress on this and I won't be sad if I don't finish this before the 5th of May because I really do love this perfume and it's one that I would definitely want to repurchase and I would miss being able to use just because it's there even though I don't use this every single day it's just one that I like to put on when I want to wear it. So I definitely would miss this in my collection, but I do want to try and finish this up by Cinco de Mayo. And the next two products are my liner products. One is an eyeliner and one is a lip liner. And this is my MAC Industrial Pearl Glide Eyeliner. And this has been in a couple of videos recently for other updates and things like that because this is in my 2016 makeup use up goals. So I did just do an update for that which I'm not sure which video is going to go up first. But this is where I am at with this product now. So as you can see I did make more progress from the first update to now than from the beginning to the first update. And I do anticipate... Me. 
I do anticipate that this product is probably going to finish um, you know, somewhere around here and this is loose right now so it may actually fall out at some point. So obviously this isn't going to go all the way down the card. I'm sorry, you can't see this update. It's not going to go all the way down the card because I am uh, measuring it from the very bottom of it. But it does give me a good idea of how much I'm using at the very least. So that is that. That is my Industrial Pro Glide Eyeliner. And the next product I have is my Makeup Forever Lip Liner in the color 3C. And again, I have been measuring this from the bottom. And again, I don't expect this to go all the way to the bottom. But this is where I'm at with this update. And as you can see, I did not have as much progress this last month as I did with the first month. I actually kind of just lost track of this in my purse and forgot that I was using it and was going for just some easier options just to kind of throw on the lip and um, and go rather than doing a lip liner which is kind of always been my problem with lip liners I love them I love the colors I love that you can kind of change a gloss or change a lip color with the use of a liner I'm just really bad at using them so that's why I wanted to try and force myself to use this in this project so that is it for my update for my five by Cinco de Mayo I hope you guys are doing really great with your projects as well I'm trying to catch up on everybody's videos now that I've had some more time to really watch videos comment film my own videos and um, just really really excited to be back in this process and I feel a lot more comfortable now doing these videos so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one thanks bye